Hello everybody, this is Michelle from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday and this question comes from Marcy from Evansville and she asks, how do you work with adjustment layers? I've heard lots of things about adjustment layers and I just don't know what that means. So I'm going to show you what I, how I use adjustment layers and of course there's millions of different ways to use it but I'm just going to give you the down and dirty tips and techniques for that in the next couple minutes and uh, see what you think. So um, this kit here, I'm going to be using this paper from Karen. She's from Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen.com. You probably heard me talk about her before. And this is The Artist in Me. And this is a paper from that. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And there's a lot of people that say, hey, Michelle, what if I get a piece of paper and I don't like the color of it? Well, the reason that adjustment layers exist is because you can change the color of papers and eyes and shirts and all that kind of stuff so here's one way of doing it so I'm going to open up that um, paper the artist in me cardstock one dot jpeg and then I'm going to go ahead over to my layers panel and at the very very top you're going to see a couple different icons the first one is create a new layer the second one is create a fill or adjustment layer so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that now you may have this on the bottom it depends on which version of Photoshop elements you have so we are using version 11 so it might be on the top or it might be on the bottom I'm going to go ahead and click on that and the one that I like the best is the hue and saturation so I'm just going to click on hue and saturation it's going to bring up a little pop-up right here it says hue saturation now you can change the color by just clicking on colorize and then taking this slider for the hue and changing it to different colors and let's just say we want it to be pink let's say you know the whole kit was more blue but we want to turn it to a, a girl color so let's just go with a pink and you can make it really really bright if you take the saturation up or if you take the lightness down you can make it more of a deep purple and so on and so forth so the cool thing about it is it's not really affecting the layer below it you can always go back to that layer but you can merge these two together and then create a totally different color so that's one way of using it let's just go in and, and get up another um, photo you can take a photo and change the adjustment layer on that as far as doing different colors or there's other things inside there so let's go to the um, little circle that has um, black on the top and white on the bottom go back down to hue saturation we can colorize this now we can take this color and change it to whatever tone we want it to be so we can go ahead and do like a monotone we can take all the color out and do a saturation switch so it's just black and white or you can take it back up and make it really really saturated okay so that's one cool way of using that adjustment layer and you could turn it on and off to see what kind of effect it does you can also right click on it and delete that layer and then try something different so let's just go back in you don't have to go into hue saturation but let's just maybe go into uh, levels okay go ahead and get the brings up this pop-up box here now we can change the levels on this maybe we want it to be really bright or maybe we want to darken it up a little bit a lot of its trial and error and then here's our adjustment layer we can turn it on and off to see which one we like the best so that's one way of using the adjustment layers another one is we can take a kit like this one the artist in me flower six and you can change the colors on that so we go back into that adjustment layer go back into hue saturation click on colorize and then you can change the color to whatever you want to to, to tailor your particular scrapbook layout. So hopefully you, learned, hopefully you learned a lot about adjustment layers. Now that's just touching uh, the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn a lot more, become a member of NAODS, N-A-O-D-S.com. And also check out our secret page because we have a lot of different bonuses going on today. It's N-A-O-D-S.com slash secret. And we also, on our site, we will have upcoming webinars. So take a look at that. Be sure to like us, share us, and um, post your comments so that we keep continuing to do these Q&A Tuesdays. The more people I have the respond, the more I will do it. So send in some questions if you want to, and maybe yours will be next. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day. Bye-bye.